I worked with the lesbians, and they didn't seem too interested in any sort of political fight. And the peace movement is always going to be home for me. But now that war is ending, and ours is just beginning. So I'm looking for a real foothold in the gay movement. And I saw you on television, the convention, and thought I would just start at the top. Well, you must have said it pretty late if you saw me at the Democratic convention. I mean, you could have done better than a 2 a.m. slot for us, don't you think? Do you know how much it took to get that spot? We've worked for years organizing, raising money, walking precincts. What have you done except for make some noise and smoke weed? And that's my question, sir. Is there a place for someone like me in the movement? Look, it matters what you look like to our allies. Oh. And we're going to need allies to get anywhere. So when you say allies, you mean rich, straight, white, Christian male allies? Like it or not. I mean, perhaps if you got an education, got a haircut. <laughs> There's a barber up on 18th Street. Well. This has been very informative. Such a pleasure to meet you, finally, Mr. Foster. <laughs> Have a great day. Cleve, I found it. Get out of San Francisco. Meet me in Amsterdam in May. The boys are beautiful here. Hey, Cleve. Cleve. Hey. You registered to vote, right? <laughs> Sorry. From what I can tell, politics here is a bourgeois affectation. I'm gone to Europe. What's going on over there? Less marriage, military, religious, white male cop supremacy crap. You know, we can keep flying away to search for something that isn't there either. Or we can stay and fight to make this the place we're looking for. Fight City Hall, the cops. Our candidate is Harvey Milk. He's running for city supervisor. running because it's obvious, based on what the media has opened up, that a political machine has formed in this city. I don't think a machine can represent people. And the issue of machine politics goes beyond the local supervisor's race. The thrust of the Watergate investigation now has switched to the federal grand jury in Washington. One by one, the high and the mighty, and the former high and the mighty of the Nixon administration are being called to testify. The burglar himself said it wasn't the CIA. So, Marvin, let me ask you, who stood to benefit? Nixon. We could be headed for a serious constitutional crisis. Haven't you been watching it all? I can't bear their sweaty faces. But I like when you talk about it. I'm just more of a theater queen. <laughs> You're adorable. So why don't you stay in New York? There are a million dancers in New York. I could be Liza Minnelli here. <laughs> you want to be like her? No, be her. <laughs> Directed by Fosse and Marvin with a V. Okay. Maybe this time. I'll be lucky, maybe this time he'll stay. <laughs> and then drilled by her queer husband after he spent the day writing a new hit show for yours truly. Well, holy Liza Minnelli. <laughs> mm. Holy Liza is right. I've never left a brother behind. Not on the street as a kid, or in Vietnam.